New details are emerging tonight about the man who shot at drivers in the middle of a busy Hollywood intersection. That shooting left three people injured before the gunman was fatally shot by police. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live at Cedar sinai Medical Center where one of the victims is recovering. Leanne. Giovanna, the victim here at Cedar sinai Medical Center was the most seriously injured. He remains in critical condition. Authorities are now looking into the possibility that a broken heart may have led to the deadly violence. Oh my God, you all right? Numerous witnesses captured Tyler Brem's bizarre rampage on camera. And while the outcome is clear, the cause is not. The 26 year old seen here on his Facebook page had recently broken up with his longtime girlfriend who'd moved with him from Pennsylvania, posting that the relationship had ended just days ago. Authorities don't know if that was the motive for the violence. The couple had recently moved out of the Hollywood apartment they shared. Neighbors say they weren't very social. We only saw them coming and going back and forth, quiet. Uh, kept to themselves. I think they had a dog. That's pretty much all I know about them. Bram shot at least three people as he emptied his gun into passing cars Friday morning at Sunset and Vine in Hollywood. Well known music executive John Atterbury, seen here on Facebook, was the most seriously injured. The 40 year old was shot in the face and upper torso as he sat behind the wheel of his Mercedes Benz. Investigators say Bram fired at least 20 rounds, reloading at least once as he carried out his violence. Take him out! Take The 26-year-old was finally stopped when he was shot and killed by two LAPD officers. Neighbors who described Brem as odd say they would hear him fighting with his girlfriend, but say they never thought he would turn violent. He's a very quiet guy. Um, other than the fact that they'd argue sometimes, I couldn't tell, any, you know, but I could tell that, you know, something was, that he was an unstable person, but, you know, I don't know the details of what actually made him snap. Atterbury remains in the hospital tonight. He was the only victim, in fact, to be hospitalized. He remains in critical condition. Those other two victims only received minor injuries. Live at Cedar sinai Medical Center, Leanne Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Leanne, thank you. And gunfire rang out overnight in Lakeview Terrace. One man is dead and detectives are searching for the killer. A woman tells police she heard gunshots at her neighbor's house around 3.30 this morning. She ran over there to check on him, but it was too late. The unidentified victim was dead on the floor with multiple gunshot wounds. Another neighbor says her daughter woke up to the sound of gunfire. No, I didn't hear nothing. Not a thing. But your daughter heard something? Yeah, she said she, she heard shotguns.